Ready? One. I'm hanging out with Real Tune, no cartoon. Real Tune TV. It's some real money in the room. Tune. I'm up now, boy. One. One. Get it, boy. I get. Hey, Real Tune. It's some real money in the room. Wow. Okay, okay, you caught me on call. What's happening, boy? We in the building. Yes, uh, yeah. Giggity. That's right. Oh, I'm in the building. Terry Civilian Williams. Talk to me. Champ. Talk to me. Talk to me. Man, uh, giggity man. I'm gonna jump straight into it. That's the best thing. You know, since the last time that we had the opportunity to sit down, mm -hmm. a lot has happened. And I kind of want to go from what's happened most recent, and then we'll take it back some. Um, most recently, Honeycomb Brazy was released from prison. And we can say less than a week of him being released, Birdman is on the phone. Now, we didn't get the audio of what was said, mm -hmm. but we saw he was on the phone, and he's actually allegedly shooting a music video with stunt. Okay, talk to You me. know what I'm saying? Right. Um, they gotta, go ahead. Go, well, I'm just gonna say, you know, Honeycomb, he's a big blood from uh, Mobile, Alabama. And before he left, he was one of the hottest artists and he's a street artist, right up Baby's Alley. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think led up to that phone call? And what do you think is gonna be the result of the situation? Okay, well, first of all, they gotta get that clear through me. They just get that straight. Um, nah, nah, for real. All to aside, um, I've been following Honeycomb since he's been home. You know, that's been a nice topic on my channel. So, uh, Gangsta the Original High Boy channel for all two of people. Anyway, uh, um, Honeycomb got the beef with Finesse. Now, let's start there. Yeah, so Honeycomb don't wanna deal with rap a lot. They hold this setup. He locked in with them right now with this one album. So Stunner, you know, he he stay lurking. He's smart. He away. He think, oh, come on, man. That's what we do. Right. So anyway, our um, uh, <laughs> uh, Honeycomb reached out to Gucci Man, um, a few other people, in, including Birdman. Birdman, see, he get it. He see what's going on. What's up, young? They talk. Man, I got a little situation. Man, put me on the phone with the old head. That's how Birdman, Jay Prince get on the Instagram with Honeycomb Breezy. And they talking, so they trying to work it out, whereas Honeycomb gonna sign with Cash Money. He gonna come over there on Rich Gang. But he got that album situation with rap a lot, so they trying to see how they gonna work it out. Uh, as far as the video, Stunner just like showing love, like, man, I'm just gonna come on, Honeycomb invite, man, come on down and get the video. You know, I'm gonna let my city know you rocking with me. Okay, I got you. Now, mind you, Honeycomb, now you must sign to Cash Money yet. Right. But Birdman just showing love and support. I'm coming down there. I'm going to pull up. You know what I'm saying? I'm pulling up down there. So that's love, man. That's good. Um, but I like what Honeycomb doing. Braze, he got the he got the internet right now in the uproar. So, you know, I like to see them young boys coming. But I just, the thing is this. I'm hoping they keep it on the internet. Because, you know, Somehow a person could play, could play, could play, right. to whereas uh, the next man getting their feelings, and now it's a problem. Now they want to get the get the homies involved, get the shooting. When they see each other, they want to fight. They want to do all this stuff. So right, right, I'm hoping right. that they could just, you know, trade a little this, whatever they're gonna do, but keep it on the internet, man. You know, because we lost too many people um, just behind <laughs> words, you know, and trying to prove a point to the spectators. If 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 if. Honeycomb, I love Honeycomb. Let me, let me, let me. Also Why you love say Honeycomb? This. What you mean you love Pauls? You don't got a Paul. Oh, ain't nothing wrong Paul? with love. Now, if I said something weird, you know that what was I'm weird. I love Honeycomb. Man, I, I love his music. Oh, okay, but why you I, say that? I also that? love his 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 persona. Okay. You know, I'm more. The reason I do interviews behind the camera is because I want to get to know the person behind. Right, the and it's about the person you interview instead of being in. The, I get that exactly. But I think you should and be doing it. But Honeycomb, it. Honeycomb is uh. He's uh, he's authentic. He's <laughs> real. He's too real. And the people whom I know that are too real usually die. That's just the reality of what I've seen. And so when I look at Honeycomb, it's like if 
you willing to disrespect Jay Prince via Jay Prince Jr., right? Mm -hmm. Not the old man. But if you're willing to disrespect your CEO, because he was mob ties, right? Or mm -hmm. is mob ties. Right. How can Birdman keep a lid on him? That's the thing. You don't keep a lid on a live wire. You let him be, but at the end of the day, take him from that situation. He's only, what he's doing right now, he's crying out for help. He got the talent, he got the fan base, so a lot of these people who he already reached out to that's not answering his call, that's not trying to help him, stun to see it. So now, the thing is this, Birdman, you see the young man is crying out for help. Grab him from that situation and relocate. Get to the music. It's simple, man. It's easy, bro. He's, and I you know, when a person say too real, it made me think like a person saying like, oh, he too real for TV. Or he just, like he acting it, right? You know, it's a guy that grew up in jail, got like overall 13 years, you know, back and forth in prison. Probably more. Mm -hmm. So, um, he had, you know, the, uh, the situation with the grandparents. So, he hurting, you know, but he letting the people know with that smile like, you know, y'all did that, but look, I'm still here. So now, what the fan base he have, the support he have, I always tell people, a person's name is always gonna be bigger than their bank account when they first get in on this, uh, in this, uh, what you call it, entertainment world, or the, the internet, social media. So, what Birdman need to do is, okay, look, I like what you're doing, young. Now, if you like him, snatch him up, bring him to Miami, where y'all at? Put him up somewhere and then let him do his music and still, you know, let him enjoy. You can still have his fun. But if you keeping a person that the internet love, a gangster, somebody that's really from the streets, in his environment, he gonna get swallowed back up. Right. It just, it man, it's it just a cell waiting for him because all he knows is the streets. So you got this talent, you gotta grab him. If you say you rock with him, grab him. Grab him up, get him out that situation where he at. Bring him to a whole different situation and let him still do his thing on the internet, whatever he do. But put him in that uh, studio, man, and get them hits. Because that's what it's all about. People want to hear the music. People want the entertainment. But if you letting this young man stand in his hood and, and, and being around the homie, what's going to happen is this. Somebody going to be around because they got to protect him. Somebody going to call because, you know, people want him in jail. People want him underground. So now, they see a group of them. Somebody might just call the police, look, I see him in such and such color, color, they got them guns on. Police pull up, now he got a situation. Now he back to square one again. So sometimes, man, you got to grab them youngsters, bro, because them youngsters don't have no guidance, man. Because the, prob the problem is this. He wild, then the crew that's with him wild. Let me tell you something. I could pull up and show you, bro. Somebody, a guy hit me in my DM and sent me a video. Well, honeycomb in the street, walking in the streets, and a crew up right there with him and do like, man, we standing ten toes down with him. We on. I was like, what are they like? But they in the middle of the street, like parading, like letting them know we rocking with him. Yeah. You know, so he got that. But the problem is, convicted felon, you don't want to be around a lot of that stuff. But you got. It's like, I got to show the hood. I ain't forget about y'all. I'm rocking with y'all. But sometimes, when you go to jail, or when you dead, sometimes the hood forget about you. Sometimes the hood don't care because you know what? The hood is still in the struggle. The hood's still trying to come up, so they're looking at you to do it because you got the spotlight. But if you go to jail or dead, the hood, back, like, man, they're going to post something out for the homie. But it's over with after that. that, that that's going to that's, that's gonna evaporate even, especially if it's the sun. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just think that, you know, he, he, he reached out to a few people, and a lot of them didn't answer his call because a lot of them was like, man, I ain't about to mess with him. But then a lot of them might have felt like, because he signed with Rap-A-Lot. Um, they gotta respect the old man. That's a fact, you know what I'm saying? Um, people respect the OG, but the problem is this. If you got an artist that's screaming, I don't want to be over there, then out of respect, like Birdman did, let me reach out to the OG. Because, you know, that's how they got Drake from over there. See, rapper like Comp, man, they have, all right, bro, if you think about it, look at history in the rap game, and we're going to just say in the South. Rap a lot has had their hands on some of the best rappers in the South, bro. But they ain't really know what to do with them. Right. Scarface, Ghetto Boys. Well, they did. They did what they were supposed to do with Scarface and the Ghetto Boys. No, I don't think so. Uh, Cause, bro, I, I watch the OG and he got his set ways how he do his 
artists. And for a long time, you know, rapper like, like to stay independent. Because, you know, in Texas alone, you can go platinum. Yeah. That's how big sure. Texas is. But I just think a lot of them, them artists, and he want to stay with his pro-black, and I get all that. But don't hurt the artists. He didn't have some, 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 some stuff over there, bro. But um, in this day and time, this is this where the OG, and I'd be shocked, too, uh, where he messed up at. When he started coming out, entertaining a lot of these youngsters that's old enough to be his children and grandchildren. Right. So now when you get on the internet, it's like fair game. On the internet, people forget your age. They don't care nothing about that. Now it's like, oh, you on here, you green, you in his own. Uh, it's, it's attack mode now. All the, the respect a person had, because you got to keep in mind, back then, when, when it wasn't that much, it was just like newspapers, I mean, magazines and all that. BET, so you could see him. But you're not seeing him as much. You're not hearing from him as much. So now it's like, man, that's what I want to be like. That's the OG, the OG solid. But the man, the OG, started coming out talking and Prime example, what that was, NBA Youngboy, when he said, I got your keys, NBA Youngboy disrespected him. Remember that? Right, yeah. Um, when he had a situation when he was with somebody. Yeah, he popped up on him. Yeah. Let him know, don't play with me, young. I yeah, can touch yeah, your he grease. he just made a song and got popped up on again. <laughs> you know okay, what I'm well, saying? <laughs> or, or when they got the chain and, it, yeah, and I, I've y'all. seen it. I understand exactly what you you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So people look at that like, now, like, it went from the myth, um, this legend, this big dog, that nobody don't play with Jay Prince to... Man, he like us. He's just regular. Man, we ain't trying to hear that. And you got to keep in mind, that's what I tell everybody, bro. It's killers and gangsters in every city. It's dudes with money in every city. You might not have as much as money as Jay Prince have, but you got people that got money. People be forgetting Jay Prince on an island. Like he's on an island. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but here's the thing, though. An island is not the same as being in these slums. An island is something that we watch on TV we fantasize about. Like, I got Giggity Island. You know, I might open it up, let people come hang out. I might make it a tourist attraction. But right now, we got to deal with reality. So you can have an island, but when you lose the streets, when you lose these hoods that had that love for you, now it's a problem. Because now you're going from being the hunter to being the hunted. Hmm. Now you're the prey. You see what I'm saying? So now people are like, because you got big boys, big, big money boys in Houston that don't mess with Jay Prince. I've talked with a few of them, you know. I've had one want to come out and go, oh, nah, boy, ain't about to get in the net. I'm an alien. I'm not from Texas, so I'm not about to let you come on my channel popping this. And, no, indeed. We can't do that. I, I'm not a stepper no more. I'm on the sideline. I just be on YouTube enjoying life, bro. I am not about to get caught up in that bull crap. No, sir. Not me. But like I say, it's like, you not know, a person say, okay, you had your time and now it's gone. That's how it is right now. People looking at it like, Man, we out here now, we got a voice now. Cause a lot of people, but you gotta keep in mind this too. A lot of people been might wanna see a lot of stuff about the OG and how he moving, but they didn't have the platform. We didn't have what we have today. So now you got people that's internet gangsters, that's hiding behind. Like I just did a, a, a clip on people who get who get caught lacking. Cause you talk about people, you play with people, but man, people running crews, packs, so eventually you're gonna run into that person. Are you gonna stand up what you said or you gonna fold? And I done seen a few unfold. Right. That's why it's best to keep your mouth closed. Right. Unless you know you can bag it up. Absolutely. That, that was a, that was a, a, an excellent point. Um, my question to you, if Jay Prince and Birdman were able to come to an agreement to get Honeycomb to cash money, would that again because it's already solidified, but would that again solidify Jay Prince as the greatest CEO of all time in the music business? And the reason I say that is because it's like, damn, you, you, you had Drake sent them to cash money, bird, man. You do all the work and you just kick your feet up. And now you're doing it again with Honeycomb. It's like, it's like, 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 you know, in other words, because we've seen Jay Prince and Birdman on FaceTime, right? Right. We saw Jay Prince and Birdman on FaceTime. Correct. So it's like, it's like in the midst of tragedy, because that, let it be me and, or, or somebody else, and Honeycomb is trying to jaru my artist. It's like now Honeycomb is a target. Honeycomb, we got to get him out of there. Something needs to happen to Honeycomb. But instead, Jay Prince sees opportunity. 
And he go, okay, whoa, well, don't worry about it, honey. Come on, keep doing it. You actually doing good for the album sales. You know what I'm saying? Let's, 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 the very man might not be a bad. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. It's a, it's a powerful game with chess being played. I like to play Monopoly, but let me say this here. Yeah. I know I don't agree with what you just said. I'm not going to give him the credit for being the greatest CEO of all time. I will give him the credit for being the greatest pimp of all time, the greatest Mac of all time, because of this. A great CEO is going to want to get there and do the job and work his audit. Jay Print, like I just say, people are drawn to him because of his legendary status. So now, when, like I told you, them artists come over there, they suffer over there, they hurt, because he don't really know how to work with them artists. Go ahead and do your thing, man. Like, I'm going to let it, you know, work. But with Baby, Birdman, Cash Money, or Rich Gang, he right there to the mix with him. He right. helped. What's up? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Man, a young nigga. Right. So he right here politicking with his artist. And sometimes an artist be like, they already be infatuated with you because they heard so much about you. They see the, the island J. Prince had. They see the cars. Like, let me tell you what OG Killer Stone told me um, one time when I was in the fair. I was on the phone with him. He said, bro, that's when Juvie was signed with uh, Rap A Lot, with the UPT. With that. Y'all hear that? Know your clap? He said, bro. When we went on Jay Prince Estate, he said, bro, it took us 45 minutes while we was on this man's property to get to his house. I said, what? He said, yeah, man. He said, man, this man living. This was Stone, Killer Stone told me on the phone when I was in the Fed, right? So a lot of people be infatuated with this stuff. So that's what draw a lot of artists. Because first they're going to say, oh, Jay Prince, he got Houston on lock. Jay Prim, if I go sign on a rap a lot my time, I'm good anywhere I go in Houston. That's the mindset a lot of artists have. Now once they get over there, now it's like, well, we're gonna put my album, what you gonna do for what's happening, what's, what's, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So Jay Prince, you know, the boss he is, like, hold up, man, you don't just get to come around me like that. Chill out now. Go around Junior, go around at the Suns and the stay in your lane. You see, I I agree with you, but I disagree as Talk far as because Junior and Jazz are signing a lot of these artists. So, mm -hmm. Finesse signed by Junior, okay. to my knowledge. Um, um, Brazy signed by Junior, to my knowledge. So it's not like the dad gotta do nothing. Well, well, He's stop. such a powerful CEO. And this is what Birdman hasn't no, done. No, stop, let me cut you off right quick. No, let me cut you off right quick. Before, you know I'm old before Bird I lose my train of thought. Let me, let me cut you oh, before I lose my train of thought. That lets you know right there he's not, he not a powerful CEO because his son is the one that had Drake, that found Drake, that found Finesse two times, that found Drake. It's the son the that's son. scouting his talent. Well, Jazz found Drake, the other one found the other two. So this is right. what I'm saying. Go ahead. And that's Talk my, to me. my that's my point. Mm -hmm. Is he such a great CEO? See, when you get caught with that song, mm -hmm. you got other people that you can delegate it to. My sons can do this. Mm -hmm. right, this is my legacy. Y'all can do this. Birdman, to my knowledge, I haven't seen anybody from the cash money camp do what Birdman has done. Jay Prince is doing this stuff for generations at a time. Mm -hmm. And so I will give it to you when you say like, yeah, Birdman's still in the field. He got the artist, he got the catalog. Yeah, he got it, I give it to him. But that's all he got. It ain't like you turn Wayne into a big boss. Wayne tried to be a big boss and got bossed. <laughs> you well, know what I'm saying? Well, hold up, back. hold up, you know he, what I'm he did turn Wayne into a big boss. Slow down now, let me take it back from you. Keep in mind, Drake, uh, 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 Nicki Minaj, Prince. Tiger All In was signed to Young money. Cash money. Oh, slow down. Don't, yeah, don't, I don't need no ad libs. I don't want no ad libs. Don't, don't okay. try to jump on it now. Because you say he, Wayne, come from cash money, but Wayne started young money. And Wayne had that team, some of the top best selling artists on the young money. So happy Wayne was just keeping the gangster and signing young money with cash money. Yeah, I, but, and I, and I, I, like I say, I agree with that. So My I'm gonna let you take dope. that back when you say Wayne become a big boss. Wayne was he he, he wasn't. Don't he start was it. more like a star player than a boss. No, 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 no. But he still on Young Money though. And Drake and Nicki was signing Young Money. Now I'm gonna give you a second to take that back. Well, I, One, I'm just saying. Second gone. I'm just saying. You know, Jay Prince got jazz, and he got Junior. Right. Birdman got Wayne, and we all know Wayne and Birdman's financial issues with public. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, because you, you you mixing the two. So I'm trying to see who else no, no, does slow Birdman down. have to get him artists? Tune. Does he have anybody? No, Tune, listen, listen. You mixing, you mixing it. Jay Prince. Put Jay Prince right here. Jazz and Junior. That's the label or whatever, you know, they scouting mob ties. Right? Right. 
But you got Birdman, and then Wayne was an artist, but Wayne got his own company, so Wayne is not part of the cash money no more. So it's two different. Jay Jr. and them got mob ties. But is so he signing a rap a lot? Is, or they yeah. signing a rap a lot? Is, is, is YM not CMB? No, that's over. No, not no more. But that's I'm over. saying back then, we talking we about talking then. We talking about now. We talking about the present. I ain't, I ain't seen about... Wayne do nothing now. That's what I'm trying to say. I ain't seen the artists he got now suck. We ain't seen Who nothing got? from the artists. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You talking about the artists he got? Because I know he got uh, Drake and Nicki. You know what I'm, I'm saying, though? That, Don't that, stutter. What you yeah, talking that's about? Yeah, that's my point exactly. But like, them, that, that's all you need. Yeah, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need. And he got Drake from Jazz Prince. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That who ain't know what to do with him. Back to what well, I he, said. He knew to put, put him away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to bring him over here with a winning team. Back, thank you for helping me. Yeah. So now, we back to a boss. A young boss in Wheezy. Wheezy did. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think Birdman really, and then he ain't, did a, he ain't made another one. Well, you could say Jay Prince, all his sons doing something. Yeah, but that's not Birdman, biological son. This is in the in-house family business. So hold up, let me show you something. Let me show you the difference. Yeah, he kissing them. Yeah, that uh -huh. might be true. We don't know what we're doing behind closed door, but let me just say this here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Jazz, uh, 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 J. Prince Jr., the, the, the family, right? right? This is our family legacy. Birdman, Wayne, this is not our family legacy. I just raised you, but you got your own legacy. You got your own stuff. And young man, I got cash money. Cash money was here before Wayne. Whereas with J. Prince, you know what I'm saying? I'm the father. These are my children. And y'all know when I'm dead and gone, y'all got to take this over. So, of course, they're going to get out and go. They ain't going to pot a tick. They're going to rub elbows with everybody. So, yes, that's going to happen. But with cash money and Wayne, it's two difference. That's how I was trying to break town to your own real tune. You got real money in the room. I, I can take that. Honeycomb gets out and immediately goes after Finesse two times. Mm -hmm. um, to the point to where he said he's going to ja rule him. Um, I'm not sure if you got a chance to really just watch and dissect Honeycomb Brazy's live, mm -hmm. but he made some very interesting points. Um, the first point that he made was that um, he was looking out for Finesse when Finesse was in jail. The second point that he made that had me like, okay, Honeycomb Brazy might have a point, is that he claims that he introduced him to Junior. Because remember, Brazy had just got signed. Mm -hmm. Right when Finesse was still locked up. Mm -hmm. And so apparently but uh, Brazy was that bridge. Now, here's where they fall out. Finesse was apparently telling Brazy that he was not rocking with um, Moneybag Yo. Uh, Finesse is telling this to Brazy. I want not rocking with Moneybag Yo. Now, you know, just to get a little deep real quick, but Moneybag Yo signed Big 30. Finesse says that Big 30 pulled up on, uh, well, Honeycomb says that Big 30 pulled up on him over some issues that they were having with Finesse. Now, l let me take it a step further. When Finesse gets out of jail, remember they ended up doing that like three-way deal. You know, he was signed to Mob Ties. Now he signed the Bread Gang with um, Moneybag Yo. Brazy is saying, like, I went to bat for you. Like, I'm not rocking with that. And then when Brazy gets locked up, now Finesse isn't answering the phone, he's texting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to answer, I'm texting. And a lot of people feel like Brazy is dry, hanging on Finesse. He's doing them bad. You know what I'm saying? All the BBL talk and stuff like that is unnecessary. You being somebody who's been to the feds, who's been to prison, who's done time, you see a situation like that. What do you take on it? Is finesse wrong? Is Brazy wrong? Finesse wrong. I lo listen. When it comes to finesse music, I don't listen to a lot of young rappers, right? And it was since I had been home, it was only two young rappers' songs, two songs that I love to listen to. That's that finesse two time back in and Lil Baby in a minute. They're my favorite two songs. From listening to everything you just said, from what what. Honeycomb Brazy saying, and to get my own proof, I got a guy that hit me in the DM. He wanted to come on my channel and talk about how Finesse two times done him. I said, bro, do you have proof? He sent me the recordings, him and Finesse on the phone. Finesse said, listen, I told you 1500 for a future, feature. If you wait till I get out, it's going to be 4000 or something like that. So Finesse was telling me, man, just look out for me while I'm down, man. I got you when I get out. So when Brazy saying all these all this stuff, I got proof that finesse move like that. 
You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong when it comes to the internet. There's nothing wrong. First of all, we had a thing down in New Orleans, you green you in. So now when we at each other, you don't hold back. I'm, I'm coming at you with everything I got because it's my job to go in on and try to make you look bad, try to take you down, try to stop your view, whatever you, whatever emotion you got, I'm about to take it down, I'm about to take it from you. Because Brazy is telling people, I'm the one got you on, so okay, well if you got him on, then let's see. So now, for ne I don't know how, I've been hearing people talk about this BBL stuff, I don't know how that got out. Did he go live and tell people, hey, I went and got my gut out and go, what he, did he, he, he? I don't think he did any of that. I don't know if, if Brazy's just talking or I heard if somebody he's, else say that. Well, he may have, they, they people doing it now. Who, you do it? I ain't did it. I don't got that kind of money. But what'd you do if you had the money? I don't think I will. You know, I like the gym. Okay, that's what's up. But listen, now back to what I'm saying. If, well, I'm going to say this here. Finesse never defended. So now, mm. even if he did do it, that's what he wanted to do. He got the money to do it. That's what he wanted to do. That's what made him happy. I don't care about that part. But when it comes to the internet, people making fun. People want to have fun. They like the... People love gossip and mess. Back to what me and you had this. I remember when we was in the penthouse. I see we didn't downgrade it, but I, I understand. But when we was in the penthouse um, doing an interview, when we was up there in the sky, I had got a piece of the pie. Um, me and you had this, this uh, discussion about what works on my channel versus your channel. And it's back to what I was saying, how people love mess and gossip. They love the controversy. They love back and forth. Like I said, men have taken over the internet. It's a bunch of men that's doing all the fussing and all the back and forth. We took, we didn't push the women out the way because you know the women. We the beauty. I actually called the internet the beauty salon one time. It was all the women. Girl, guess what? He da da da. Now it's the men. It's us men that have taken over the internet with all the girly stuff. Who pop pop this 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 and this. Right. The women kind of taking over the man position now where they sit in the cut watching someone playing a cutthroat game cutthroat setting them up doing this and this tricking them come on over here you know they it's just like it's flipping that lets you know days of the time man it's just, it's just coming to an end but um brazy doing what anybody would do that just getting out of jail man listen i right. gotta get it I, by any means i gotta get it i'm i i, I, I I don't know what he, I don't know what his pockets look like, but I'm I'm pretty sure you know he not where he want to be. So it's like, bro, I need to get me some money. So at the end of the day, I'm about to do my thing. He got the internet on lock. People watching him, they paying attention. So he got when he dropped the song, he got millions of views within a day or so, right? Yeah. So people check it for him. Now you got a guy that you trying to come at that's hot in finesse. With finesse, I thought about this here, right? With finesse, say he tried to diss me to blow up, you know all this. You know, I was like, yo, finesse, been talking about this. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's the only thing. Cause at first I was like, I was staying out of it for a while. I was like, man, I must do the, I don't let them youngsters do what they do. I ain't getting that stuff, right? I'm not gonna right. do video. But then when the youngster hit me with the stuff with finesse, did him in jail, and I'm like, nah, man, no finesse ain't rock like that. So. I realized like how people will promise you one thing and it's not till they get out till they realize, whoa, I got a lot of motion, I got a lot going on, I don't have time. I want to get with you, bro, but I don't have time right now. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep your word, man. So it's going to be a day you all, you can just drop a band look quick, eight balls right quick, just say anything, blah, 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 here you go, bro, beat it. But you ain't get a man nothing. And a man got you on the phone, in prison, talking about, man, I got you when I get out, pay me this here, look out for me. And when the dude sit into me, I'm listening to him like, wow. Yeah, finesse, you know, he down bad on that. But Brazy doing what he do. Finesse doing it. Finesse brother stepped up for him. Finesse yeah. brother said he gonna smack him when he's seen him. Yeah, let, let. What did you think when you saw a finesse brother take up for a finesse two times? I love it. I love it. That's my brother. That's blood. That's my brother, man. Listen, no matter what me and my brother go through, you ain't about to play with him. I would do that with Birdman. No matter what we go through, I'm out there for him. Head first. <laughs> That's just what it is, bro. So I like that his brother spoke up for him because his brother made a lot of sense, too. My brother on paper. 
So he can't really get ignorant with you because them PO, you know, the Fed, they watch it. They waiting to violate you, send a man back that's doing, that's, that's, that's successful. The brother was snapping, right? All that I don't like is when I did my reaction video, I didn't get the views. But when I did the reaction video to Hoodie Cole Brazy responded to here, it to the brother. Yeah, it went up. So what did you think about his response to the brother? What you mean? I mean, I like because he he see here's the thing with Honeycomb Brazy. This how you know he been in jail a lot. He play a lot of sex games. He play a lot of them games driving him. Honeycomb, I mean, um, for that two times, little brother, you probably playing them most sex game when I kept my span. Certain people don't play like that. Certain people ain't used to you calling them the B word or uh, suck my prayer. Or when I see your big fine self, I'm gonna do that. Certain people don't like that. They don't play with me like that. And once a person see that's what that's what push your button, they're gonna match the gas on you now because, okay, he don't wanna play like that. I got him now. I'm gonna drive him that way. I'm gonna drive I can't him like even that. Notice the sex games being played. Yeah, man, Brace. that's why I'm saying, bro. You, you a journalist, bro. You a YouTuber, and you ain't paying attention to him. And you got a big channel out here in town. I'm disappointed you too, but I'm giving you game now too, so it's cool. So why, why do you think Brazy playing these sex games? You, you know what I'm saying? I know Turk said that everybody play them type games. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, we used to it for New Orleans. Oh, you know, it's a surround. But you got a lot of people who don't play them. Let me just make that clear. You talking you got, about gay games. When you right, the gay games, games. You really talking about the gay games. Right, like. Honeycomb what? playing gay games. Right, right, with him. He know that's going to irritate them. Right. They don't play like that. You got a bunch of, you know, dudes remember them. Man, we don't get out like that. Don't play with me like that. Oh, he don't? Oh, I got him now. Right. You got a BBL. Now you looking like a bra. You got hips. Bobby, you shit like your mom. That's going to irritate. That's going to upset him. Look at how his brother react. You out here playing them gay games when I kept. So now the brother exposed his feelings. He wore his feelings on his shoulder. Now we see it. I oh. feel like he had to, though. Man. He was no, 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 no. Let that. me show you something. No, you, his brother did right by responding, but don't let him know what you're doing that made us mad. What made me respond? Well, do, do you feel like Finesse should respond? Of course. You got to respond because you got a you wave that people, we got hoods, people in the ghetto rocking with Finesse. So people, man, bro, Finesse had me don't want to mess with a skinny bro. And that's right. it. <laughs> I can't do nothing with it. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but I don't do that. I don't feel like that no more now. So anyway, around. Um, but the thing is, bro, uh, you know, Finesse came out with that wave, bro, and people own that. Well, you don't feel like Finesse might be too big to no. be responding to Brady? He ain't too big. What's about too big? He ain't had that one hit. Back in, what else he did? What have you done for us lately? Right. So don't tell me I know too big. No, man, you ain't too big. You better answer that stuff. <laughs> but nah, but, um, but for real, for real, it ain't about being too big. It's about being smart. Because here's the thing, bro, my, my, I'm, I'm doing my, I got my gold plaque. I'm doing my thing. You ain't on yet. Why would I entertain you to blow you up? That's, now take the too big out and just say, finesse is smart, not that. Because there's a lot of YouTubers that be trying to get at me. That, and I look at their channel, I look at their number. Man, I ain't answering that. Cause you about to do trying to do what I did. Right. No, we not. You know what I'm saying? So it's a plenty of them. Sometimes I be sit back, cause I be looking for. I, see, you no know, back in the days, you know how people like, man. Yeah, you go looking for trouble. No, I hunt the trouble. So I'm on the internet looking for this stuff, right? But when I see the small certain people get there, I'm like, when I look at their view, I'm like, nah, that ain't worth. I'm gonna help you. You ain't helping me. I look for how I'm gonna come up. So it's like with finesse. I can't come up off you now. If you drop a song. And you get that motion, yeah, I'm at your top now because now I need to keep it's gonna be a pocket biggie. Right. But right now, finesse is smart, man. Now I ain't I ain't keep doing what you do. But the problem is people own Brazy. They riding his wave, so they, right. they, they, they he got that momentum and then stunned and stepped Birdman and stepped in. Man, this stuff about to get real interesting. I'm just ready to do my video, man. Yeah, Birdman. He done tag Giggity. Wow. Yo, Giggity done tagged in. Oh! oh. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Oh, Say, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they get good tag on Giggity. Wow, give me, give me a high five. Holla at your boy. Here he come. Giggity out of nowhere. Wow, give me that. Yeah. Bro, I, all I'm doing is just making me some content. I ain't bothering nobody. I'm just enjoying life, bro. I'm happy I'm free. Just be falling in your lap. That's hell, bro. Yeah. I be sitting down, just hanging out. Bro, I can show you my DM, bro. You'll be like, whoa. That, bro, I'm really the people champ. People love me, bro. Them people be showing me love, and I appreciate it because... I remember, bro, when I first come home, I was just talking about this the other day, and I really didn't know about Instagram, right? Right. So I had pressed this, uh, it was a bunch of girls, things. so I think I got into the uh, uh, OnlyFans site. 
It's a bunch of female kids. I said, boy, so I don't, I'm just pressing stuff, right? So I'm thinking these women coming at me because I just come home, they liking me. Right. But they trying to recruit me, trying to get me to get them come on their page. Right. So I'm following like 300 women at the time. And I only got 33 people following me. So it's a female. I know she was like, no, you, that's wrong. I said, what you mean? You don't supposed to be following more people that's following you. All right. Well, I ain't know. I said, these women getting at me, so I'm thinking these women like me, but these was girls that got the OnlyFans page. Right. So I'm following them. I'm like, okay, I'm a butt shirt. I got a big butt. I'm going to get at you, girl. I'm, so I had to start all over, right? So the girl used to tell me, too, I would be on it. I'm learning Instagram. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Why are you talking to them people? You don't know them people. Stop talking to them people. I said, what you mean? These people getting at me. I'm going to talk to these people. Stop hating you. Are you jealous now? Because now I'm learning this stuff and now people get that me. You don't know if I got women or what in my DM. So you hating. So I'm instead of talking, talking to people. And now in today's time, people be like, man, OG, thank you for responding. There's a lot of people who won't answer back. There's a lot of people who won't respond to us, bro. I appreciate that you engaging with us. Oh, Tom, you missed the answer right back. The facts. Yeah. Big facts. Yeah. I missed the answer right back. I got to answer the people back. So I politic with the people, bro. All right. You know, and that, and that stuff pays off because you got people that just want to hear from you. They just want to hear a little comment or a little something that you're going to motivate them to do something positive. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Um, let, let's take it a step back. Real okay, quick back from it up. Current then. events. Talk um, to me. And, and go cash money for a second. All right. BG, mm -hmm. since he came home, he made a big splash on the internet. One of the biggest splashes that I've seen this year. I think um, the only person who had somewhat of a big splash like BG, and it wasn't a big splash like BG, was Honeycomb Brazy's release recently, right? And so um, BG had this hype, kind of like Brazy had this hype, right? He got this hype, he got all this stuff going on, he drops a song, million views in a day. BG ain't dropped nothing. As a matter of fact, I, I think he may have dropped something with Boosie, um, but, but I haven't seen him drop nothing, or, or at least nothing that I've heard or been listening to. Um, I see Stunner trying to do a video with uh, Brazy. I see Stunner on live with Brazy. I see Stunner on live with Jay Prince. I see Stunner on Clubhouse with WAC 100. I don't see Stunner and BG just doing public appearances on the internet or in person there, there just seems to be like bg is dropping the ball um what, what do you think on bg's current status as an artist with cash money you did a lot bro you you, you be confused me because i've been wanting to answer stuff and you i remember i may have to start telling you time out cut because you be having good points that i be wanting to talk about that then so anyway let me try to see if i can gather it around um, one, one, one point at a time you know, take okay time. take the time thank you Thank you. So anyway, um, first of all, there wasn't no big splash. BG didn't do a big splash. Let me correct you there. Boosie was hyping it up, BG coming home. That was the only hype that was coming from right. that. Boosie was holding him down. I'm gonna give him that 100 grand. I got 100 grand for you, come home, blah, blah, blah. Right. I just talked to Boosie. Boosie said, call that black, blah, blah, blah. Right? I just, Boosie said, I just told the BG, call that, blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't no big talk about BG because it was keeping him quiet that he coming home and then Boosie. But I'm saying once he got home, okay, there was out. a nice no, splash. No, it was not. Calm down. It was no nice splash because of this. Birdman pull up to meet him. They did that. So now people are like, oh, BG really home. So now they're waiting for the music. BG didn't, he was talking with people going live. What, the, what, what it was, what it, what it was. When people saw him, that he went in with the baby face, now he looking like an older man. They started with the zesty jokes. They started clowning him, disrespecting him. That's what happened. So now his loyal fans is sit back waiting. Were well, you blowing your nose or were you just sniggering laughing just now? What was that? A little loud. Okay, I figured that. So now the thing is this. Some of his loyal fans keep saying, oh, you know, he in the halfway house. Oh, man, he can't really do nothing. Oh, man, he got to get back. Adjust. Stop it. Stop it. Because he get past. He goes to the halfway house. He's doing songs. You know what I'm saying? So this is just my take. I believe Birdman did this. Okay, I'm going to let him make his decision. What you want to do. You got to keep in mind, BG have a manager. And he, excuse me, he had this other lady that's rocking with him, too. So... Birdman giving him enough 
breathe to see what he want to do. This is what I'm looking at, right? Because you could tell, BG, like you say, did the, did the, the little song for Boosie. Boosie aired that. Trash. He did the little try to shake back, shake your dress. We, a lot of us was upset about that. That's a Cali swag song. No, bro, don't, don't play like, stop it. But then when he came with that Gucci, man, we're like, okay, okay, now I, this, this, this is what we want to hear. This is you, right? So Birdman just sitting back, letting him see how this, because you know, you got to keep in mind, BZ been in jail for about 11 years, 11 and some change. So he don't really know how this internet stuff going. It's just, a lot of this stuff is shocking to him. But what I don't like, Birdman, this is your little son. You raised Jizzle. You watch Jizzle come up. Grab him and explain to him, bro, the social media is different. The youngsters running social media. You got to get in when you, only people like me, a little under me, know who you are. These youngsters don't know you. They don't know nothing about you. They listen to all these young rappers that's tearing the scene up right now and the internet up. So no one is really grabbing him and letting him know, bro, this is what you got to do. This is how it's going. This is what's up. You know, it's sort of, it's sort of like he's doing how I had to get it. I had to learn it. But the thing about me was different. Well, I was asking people. I was be all on my life. Hey, what, what'd you do? How you press? You know, if I don't know, so I'm gonna ask. You right. know, what Jizzle is like? See, he thought because of his status from the bling bling and you know being on Cash Money from the Hot Boys that when he came home they was gonna embrace him. You know, the internet was gonna be like go be in the uproar. No man, no time to wait for nobody. Right, bro. You in your forties? You got these young boys, you got, you got Chicago with they drill, you got Texas with they movement, you got the, you know, you got the South, up, no, everybody got their movement. You gotta get in where you fit in. So instead of going to a lot of these older rappers trying to thinking that it's still, no, you got to politic with the young, because the young boys respect him, they look up to him. They know about his music, the rappers. Get with them youngsters. Them youngsters will be happy to have BG to get at him in a demo or say, man, let's do something. Oh, BG, okay, let's do. But he's not utilizing that, but you know why? Because he just come home and he trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this, what I'm gonna do, whereas the people around him older too. So they like, you know, we're gonna do this, we're gonna, nah, oh, man, you gotta come here, sit down, listen, bro. This is how this go, that internet, the wave now. This was this, 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 this. When you in that, um, when you leave that, get that pass for the hell, we had to go to that studio, drop, 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 push that stuff out tonight. Drop that stuff, let them people know who you are. Start pushing. Your music out on it. Beat us over the head, over the internet with that stuff, man. You, he got plenty of songs. I'm willing to, bro, I, I guarantee you, him and Baby done a song with you. know what he I was doing? And I understand the strategy he was doing, but it ain't working. I think he was like, okay, I'm going to do a song stunner, but I'm going to hold it in the cut, and I'm going to go out here and do my own thing. Well, I'm going to build my own, and I don't want to build it you know, with stunner. Bro, we know you from being with stunner. Stop playing, man. You better get together. But watch what I tell you. Start to go down to Alabama and get on that video with Brazy, Honeycomb Brazy. Watch Jizzle go and realize, like, oh, I'm tripping. I got to utilize this. This man got all this power over here. He got access to all these big artists. Drake, NBA young boy. Man, Stunner got in, it's in-house stuff, future, all them people in-house. You could use all that over there, but you running over here trying to find it. No, man, you ain't got time for that. Bro, Stunner met you at the, I'm about to say the courthouse. Wait a minute. Met him getting out of jail. Gave him his little cash money piece, gave him some money, I got you. Do your, you know what I'm saying? Bro, better hit stuff up. Listen, man, what's up, bro? What's going on out here? Because cause even Boosie said, man, BG was shocked, like, man, they letting all this kind of stuff go out here? See, BG thinking about prison and the feds, the penitentiaries, certain stuff they don't let go. Bro, on the streets, bro, <laughs> anything going on. So you got to try to get in where you fit in or create your own lane. That's what I did, created my own lane. I, I just, bro, I'm disappointed because I want him to come on, even though me and him they ain't rocking. But I want him to come on, I want to see him win. I want him to come on and do what he do. I even just wanted to come on, hook up with Boosie and they both diss me where I could get me a nice check, get me a nice run. I want the 40 day and 40 night both though. Wow. Facts, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, I know he's gonna come on with the bull. He's gonna be rocking with Birdman. They're gonna be in his ear. Da da da. He's gonna be dissing me on these tracks, and I'm gonna be doing my reaction video. I'm gonna sit back and have my fun. That, that ain't work. That ain't happen. Yeah. That ain't happen. I'm disappointed with that. 
I was looking at a nice check. I was looking at a nice payday. I wanted me, I was, bro, honestly, I wanted me a $50,000 month payday off of Jizzle, Boosie, and going back and forth with them. That ain't how. When BG was released, there was a lot of talk about a Hot Boy reunion, right? Um, Wayne ended up coming out with a song, basically saying something like, he's too cold to be a Hot Boy. Okay, this was a while ago. Um, personally, I feel like he was dissing BG. Like he was for sure taking some shots at BG because why would you even reference the Hot Boys? You know what I'm saying? Um, and then he hasn't shown any, man, glad you're home, you know what I'm saying? Uh, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? Welcome back. You know, you see Sunna embrace him, you know, you might embrace him. We haven't seen that from Wayne. You gotta keep in mind, I'm, I'm gonna embrace him because I ain't, I don't got nothing, nothing going on. It has benefit me more than him. He's the star, he's the, you know, the celebrity. So yeah, if I'm gonna embrace, what's up, boy? I'm gonna get the picture. Me, I'm gonna be grouped out. You be, be around PG. Wayne is on a whole nother universe. Talking about Weezy F baby, bro. Tunchi, it's Tunchi, baby. Tunchi not gonna just run, cause Tunchi, even though he is, but people don't look at him like this, but Tunchi is bigger than Birdman, if not bigger. Birdman is in our face and our ear. But when Toon speak, I guarantee you this, if Toon call Birdman, Slim, Turk, all of them say, huddle up, may I meet up, I bet you everybody pull up. I guarantee you, bro, everybody pull up. I give up all my YouTube checks if they don't. When Toon, bro, listen, if Lil Wayne make a number and say we doing a hot boy tour, it's up. It's, what I got right here, it's up and it's stuck, it's up and it's, bro. Oh, I barely got this food, bro. You done fit, man. I ain't tell me I got a little thing. I can't wear this. Yeah, we ain't I want to wear this tomorrow, part. bro. That part all right, good. Yeah. Cool. So anyway, around, um, yeah, because I I'm going to wear this shirt tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so check this out. Toon, not only, I don't believe he was dissing BG. That's number one. I believe he was going at Turk. Because Turk is the one that was screaming the hot boy stuff, bro. Right. It's been Turk. Right. BG really ain't said nothing yeah. about the hot boys. He's just known for being a hot Yeah, boy. so why would you say he dissing BG? Right. No, he I believe he was shooting that at Toop Thing. I believe he, he was shooting that at Turk. Or and he was letting us know as fans. Ain't no cash money. Because you know we was pumping that on the internet. Cash the hot boys too is going down. Da, 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 da. Man, I'm too cold to be a hot boy. I ain't no, I ain't doing that. So that was just my take on it. I think he was shooting at that Turk and he was shooting at me and everybody that's a fan like, man, I'm too cool to be hot, but I ain't doing that. Nah, Turk snapped back though. Yeah. Turk snapped back though. What you mean? If I ain't a hot boy, then what do you call that? Boy, Turk got yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, Turk, Turk, Turk came. He came. I get yeah, at the Turk. Yeah. I get at the Turk. That's what we want from Turk. Yeah, man, he snapped on that. So he came Turk. back, let him know. Uh, uh, why, why are we here? So, Turk... And Vlad recently went back and forth on the internet. So Vlad TV did an interview with Boosie um, where he talked about um, Turk recording his phone call. Um, and I believe Turk may have posted it. And so Vlad essentially said he wasn't going to um, talk to Turk anymore on the phone because Turk was known for recording the phone calls. Well, um, in Turk's defense, you know, Turk felt played by a title and he wanted some insurance, I guess. And so he recorded the phone call. Um, Giggity, you've been on the internet for a while. Mm -hmm. And so you can understand Turk's perspective as an internet person and Vlad's perspective as an interviewer and then the street perspective as in, you know what I'm saying, the street perspective. Do you think Turk was wrong for recording Vlad? Yes and no. Here's what I mean by that. Turk justified it by, I don't like the title, blah, blah, blah. I want my insurance. Okay. You're wrong when you post it because you only did that for the insurance, but don't put it out. You know what I'm saying? Because Vlad think y'all doing good business. That would happen with another rapper that I heard was in, he was, he was doing stuff with cash money. 
hot dude in New Orleans. When I mean hot, you know, a hot rapper doing his thing. He posted on Instagram, yeah, man, him and Bert, man, talking. He recorded the conversation. He put it on, yeah, I'm about to be signing with Cash Money. Da, da, da. Then we didn't hear nothing else about that. So I, I'm taking it, Birdman didn't like that. Don't sneak and record me. I don't know what else you'll do. So like, Vlad felt like, well, Turk, okay, you record me, okay, one thing, but when you put it out, that's another thing. Yo, you keep your receipts put up. But when you put it out, why you put it out? Then you ain't getting a lot of views for it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So now you messed up a business plan. And, and, and know a lot of people go off on Vlad, talk, talk about Vlad, did this and this. That's where I got my start at. So I'm gonna yeah, be yeah, Vlad, grateful. Vlad, 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 Vlad pumped giggity up. Man, big fact, Vlad. He couldn't wait on you to get out. Man, I couldn't wait on you. I couldn't wait to get out either. I just hang, hey, man. <laughs> Let's get that straight. But I didn't know about about all these social medias. Though. I didn't know about. I didn't even know nothing about Vlad. I had never heard about Vlad till I come home and they were just talking about all these different. Uh, podcast or YouTube channels. So it's like, what's going on with this? So I'm, I'm learning, okay, everybody over here, this is what people getting all their low and gossip and all the stuff going on over here. All right, cool. But um, yeah, I think he he, he used it, yeah, I did it, but he let Vlad know too, we not friends, we, you know, we do business. Not my friend. I'm gonna charge you to do the interview and that's what it is and then beat it. So Turk, you know, it was a nice little, I tried to get a little few dollars off it, you know, the people wasn't really, they didn't really want to hear that from my channel. Right. So I ain't make nothing too much off that. Yeah. Get a little well, something. Turk ain't just as hot as he was. All right, don't you dissing Turk, no Turk gonna diss you, no, you <laughs> yeah, playing. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, be... as far as the relevance, you know, Turk had, a, he had, he went, you know, everybody got their moments. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing right. personal to Turk. I'm just waiting on my moment, remember that song? Yeah, man. Yeah. Tired of living day to day, like everything all right. Yeah, that, you, know, on my you know, telling the truth, not hate. Hey, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah, that. Man, that's my the, new catchphrase, right? There, telling the truth, not hate. Turk, though, man. Salute Turk. Yeah, because you know what I like Original about him? Hot boy. He's still pushing. He not. He haven't given up. He pushing his wife. He still. He got his artist, so he he be on the podcast. Uh, the brother out of Atlanta, so he's still doing his thing. He not just all right. Well, I just the cash money stuff and work. I mean, bear. Man, that man, he's still making and, his and way. he got his label, too. Yeah, he's making his CFO. way, so I salute that. I, yeah. I like that. For sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Uh, wow. Okay, talk to me. Okay, um, well, few few questions, uh, G Giggity. Um, first, um, All right. I, I, I've seen a recent video that you did on a New Orleans street legend, OG uh, Blabber. Blabber. Is his name Blabber? Did I say it right? Blabber, Blabber. yeah. My um, co-defendant. Oh, he was your co-defendant? Mm hmm So, um, can, can you walk me through, first off, who is he? What role does he play in Louisiana as far as <clears throat> the streets? Um, OG Blabber. Grew, born and raised in Magnolia. Moved downtown. Been in jail just about his whole life. Right now to the day, some of the most gangster of the gangsters in this Angola call Talk to Blabber. In the Fed, people from all around different states call and talk to Blabber. So he got a nice network. Um, we used to run head up together. Um, you know, when, when, when people mention Gangster, Dooney, Sterling, Mesquite, they don't mention Blabber. Because he was in jail at the time. He come home in 96, I want to say. So, but me and him had met in 93, in the jail, in a Paris jail. So, he used to run with Black and Moe, all my old heads, you know, all my older big homies back then. So he always was, he, he got his name, he's all over, you know, from the streets, a cold gangster. So people still talk with him, you know what I'm saying? But one thing about him, but he don't hold back, he going, he going, look, that's what it is, because he politic with all the gangsters. The name of gangsters in the city, um, especially around his age or a little under him or my age, if they ain't talking to Blabber, they ain't checking with Blabber, something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Because Blabber probably take with all the steppers from all over. He know them or no bottom or gonna have some Blabber just have so much stuff going on with him. But get to your point though, what you really fishing for, brother? Um, well, I saw you took to the internet to expose Blabber. Mm-hmm. You say he did what? He was playing a 50. What that mean? 
he talking to me, telling me, no, I don't be on the internet, none of that. But then he getting on the phone talking to my ops. Man, gangster just called me, and yeah, I told gangster I don't be on it. Don't be telling gangster my bit of this. So you kicking him with these females. You playing these little childish games. Right. So I felt like, man, Blab always talk. We always on the phone. Why are you going to lie and tell me you don't be on the internet, you don't talk to these females, but then yet I get a female to call this female, and a female like, yeah, I just called Blab, I just called me. Well, she didn't say the name. Well, so-so just called me the nah. You know the girl, you know the one I had you on the phone with, and he's talking about gangster just called me this now. Nah. Don't be telling him. Nah, nah. I'm like, Blab, doing this girl and stuff. That kind of stuff gets your head hit. You know what I'm saying? Then it made me feel like, okay, I got to pull back from Blab because if you go into this extent to tell, these, tell me, you're not on the internet, you don't talk to these people, but as soon as I hang out with you, you go and call the same bra that I'm asking you, do you talk to, or you know what you got going on with these bras, and then another bra on the phone showing me that, blabbing lying to me, I was like, whoa, I ain't think my, you know, that's, that's my big bro, I ain't think he would lie to me. As a matter of fact, I do feel like you said something about blabber told in your situation, in your case, and you ended up getting a life sentence. No, that's what I'm saying. He didn't tell. Why you want Blabber to be a rat? I'm just saying, Blabber gonna get mad. I'm going off what, what you said in your video no, about Blabber. No, listen to me, brother. This is what happened. I said Blabber upset with me, and he didn't show people I told on him, right? But here's the thing. When we first got locked up, they had us in a place called Temperament 3. It's four dormitories. The, 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 the deputy pod sit here, and then the dormitory, 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 dormitory. Me and Bryce was together, then they separated, so they put me here, Bryce over here, Blab over here. But we was like right here in the same little area, but in different dormitories. Like we can go to win and see each other. There's a guy named Robert Moody from the 11 Wall. I used to have Golden, I used to study a lot. Man, that's how he talk. So, he waited till I got transferred to another jail. He went to the FBI, hey, um, I had a gun called Calio. So he went and told the Fed, oh, I know what that gun stood for. I know what's up with that gun. He go to Blabber one morning. He got the Y on in the jail. And now, mind you, I already didn't play guilty to the CCE. I'm waiting to get 20 years. I got my PSI. I got everything. I'm just waiting for my court day to go get sentenced. He go wake Blab up. Hey. Man, blab a urinate, flush the toilet, wash his hand. Man, I wish I would've got rid of that Calio gun. But man, you think gangster gonna tell them people on some of the murders y'all did to cut his 20 years? Blab was like, no, I know gangster would never, I got the transcript of everything. No, I know Blab, Blabber was telling the dude, I know gangster would never do nothing like that. But if he was to do it, the dude don't know us, the dude know gangster. So Blabber implicated me in it by me having the leadership role, the boss role, the 848, continuing criminal enterprise. The judge gave me the life sentence because my charge carried 20 life. So he took two homicides that I was never indicted, never charged for, and enhanced me because of Blabber talking on the wire with the dude. So I used to tell Blabber we was on the street. When Blabber knew a lot of dudes from jail, he used to come in the Mac, knew he'd holler us, and he used to want to talk to me because I had all the heroin. I used to tell Blabber, check this out. I don't want to meet none of them dudes. Them your friends. Your friends are your friends. Don't introduce, I don't want, because you never know these dudes trying to slide up under us and try to hit one hour head. You don't know. I don't want to meet, I'm not about to let you introduce me to somebody that's going to be the cause of my debt. No. Keep people away from me. So I'm thinking that the, the thing should apply. Now we in jail. You don't know this dude. Dude, come wake up to my man. You think gang's going to tell him on some murder? First of all, what murder? What you talking about? Blah, blah, nah, but this, blah, 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 what the going on? The judge tell him that sentence. After you, Mr. Die, you have the right nickname, blah, blah, because he talked about Whatever he, he felt blabbed. was going on, right? So, but he did not snitch. He did not rage. He did not cooperate with the gun. In fact, he told the marshal one day we coming from court, and he was going a little too slow because he was talking to people in the window, and the marshal pushed him up. The lady, he turned around. He said, "B, take these handcuffs off me. I'm gonna knock you out and pee in your face." I was like, man, he about to get us whooped in here because we both together. We in the gym pole where you get take the cuffs off, get dressed out to go into our little pods. I was like, man, you tripping. You just told the boss you going to do this, right? And she just shocked, look, but she ain't, you know, entertain it. But, yeah, that's, that, that was to the extent he was just playing the 50, playing crackhead games. He do the stuff we do, but don't know that I'm the people champ. People really like me, so people going to put me on point. 
Like, man, watch him, man. He doing this. He come behind your back. He telling you he love you. He doing this, but he doing this. Like, oh, yeah. All right, cool. But the thing is, I'm not in the streets no more. So, I, I, frankly, I don't care. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, listen, him and I may never see each other get in life. We got each other. Number we called and check on each other. We still talk because we got history together. But as far as, bro, Blabber 53, I'm 49. What we going to do? We can't go back to Wild Willow. We're like, what's up with y'all young boy? We back. With the, with the T-Bow Reeds on? Boy, you crazy. I done did 23 years, 10 months. Ain't no way I'm gonna leave all this. Boy, it's beautiful out here. So I pay attention to the people, though. I pay attention. And I always tell people, when you get phone calls with people laughing, talking, and congratulating you, patting you on the back, that's not one of them I'm happy for you. That's one of them I can't wait for you to fall. I can't wait for you, the people to take you down. That be them laugh sometimes. Hmm. So I'm lurid, and I, and, and I pay attention to a lot of stuff. That's why I'm be by myself. I hang on myself. I got to worry about myself, record myself. I got to worry about myself going to the block, talk about myself, unless I want to talk about myself to get me some money. Hmm. But I don't have to worry about all the bull crap when I be by myself. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about the jealousy, but I'm jealous of myself. I am that. Absolutely. But I'm make sure I keep myself okay. You know. But anyway, bro. Hey, man. Blab, I love him, but we got that tough love right now. Because there's so much bull crap with this internet, and you want to please this, you want to please that one, and the people you want to please hate me, but you still entertain them. And then I got people that's cool with the people that hate me, that's let me know that this one hate me, and he caught they talking to Blabber, you lie. So it's just a bunch of bull crap that I'm too old for, but I'm happy they put me on point because I know not to go in that direction. Right, right. Um. Speaking of um, OG Blabber, I saw another video you did on OG Booby Black. Oh, I figured you were gonna come with this. Now, Booby Black, you know, is somebody I actually got an opportunity to meet Booby Black. Scary guy in person. He's tall, one arm, kind of fly, and dark skin. You know what I'm saying? Scary guy, uh, but cool guy. Um, I watched the first video you did. You, you actually spoke on him on Real Tune TV before. You talked about how he got his arm shot off. Um, you know, how he was one of the OGs in the Magnolia. Um, how you learned a lot of things from him um, as a young stepper, looking up to him as an older stepper. Um, but then in the video that you did, you alluded to him uh, breaking the code of the streets. Even though he was one of those who had um, stood on business behind the code of the streets. Um, as a matter of fact, you showed how um, Booby would go in your DMs and um, to use vanish mode and unsend messages. Um, it was shocking to me. I've never seen him as that type of guy. You know, it's either he rocks with you or he don't. You know, I understand how, you know, he has his reputation to protect and this may take away from his reputation, but, you know, I just didn't see that coming from him. I just thought he didn't see the internet. I thought he ignored the internet. You know what I mean? Um, apparently, he didn't ignore the internet. Um, but f first question is, what, what made you um, decide to address because you could have been if if you had any information on booby black as a snitch you could have been took him out but instead you came in the game kind of you know showing him love you actually built his character up i didn't know booby black before you spoke on him you know what i'm saying and then i went to looking at him and seeing he was with kevin gates and so on and so forth so what what made you in a sense turn on booby black i can answer now you know, you got a long question, bro. First of all, I want to correct you on, I never say that I, I learned from him and looked at him. Oh, no, I never say that. I want to correct you on that. Him and I ran together. He was out there before me, but we was running side by side, right. partners, homies, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, the next thing, a uh, young dude told me, told me this in the penitentiary, and I actually try to wrestle with this for a long time. Right. I would tell him, he would tell me, man, everybody wear a mask. And I was like, nah, then you say, bro, everybody wear a mask. They're not, a person not gonna tell you 
everything they've done in life, but everybody wear a mask. Right. So I used to be like, no, nah, that ain't true. They're trying to buck it. But I go back to what you say that Booby didn't come across as the type of person that would pay attention to the internet or hit a person up. He do. Everybody wear a mask. When I first come home, Booby, well, when I was in jail and Booby was in the state, he would reach out to me. What's up with Giddy? He had a little cell phone, give me the number, call him and talk to him. We kicked it. Right. He got out, found him a wave, and saw what was going on, saw that it was a little separation with us. He chose that side. Just like how Dickie Minaj had that song, Pick a Side. No fraud, pick a side. He picked a side. Mm. He went with the movement, with the cash money, you know, hot them. They hot, they doing anything. I'm over here. Right. Okay, you a street dude, you ain't really got nothing to offer me, nothing you can beat it. Right? Right. Okay, fine. I come home. I'm learning about the, um, what to call that thing, Instagram. Hit him up. What's up, boy? I just got out yesterday. Hi, let me, boy. Because I'm thinking it's still love because when he was in jail, he used to tell gangs to call me. What's up again? How you doing? Right. So now it's different. All right, cool. I ain't tripping. Got me a little job. I'm just minding my business. Get on the internet. So now they see I'm, I got a wave going. They see I'm, my name starting to, oh, now they paying attention now because I know a lot of people's secrets. I was right there with them. I know about it. I was in a mud with you. But I'm gonna let you be right now. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. So now, um, when I did my first story about how Booby played me with the girl writing a letter in jail, he hit me in the DM. And I looked at it, it was gone. Oh, what's that, what the world? So, he used to do it on vanish mode. I didn't know about it. So I said, okay, I got something for him. So I hit him back. He hit me back. I took my other phone and took a picture of it. So I could be like, okay, I got you now. Because you hit him with the triple cross. Yeah, let me double cover the triple cross. <laughs> right. So what happened was, because when I look back at the, the, the conversation him and I had, right. his initial, when he reached out to me, he erased that one. He took that off. So now if you go into my DM and pull his and pull out his conversation, that first initial kick it in with the strong, that's gone. So because you know you can remove a, something from when you send somebody. Yeah, you can unsee it. Right, he already did me. But it already got it on, I already took a picture of it. So I got it over here. Like, oh, okay. He was ahead of me because he know the game already. Right. Well, internet stuff. You learning. I'm learning, but, but I you learn fast. Fast. You fast. Come to quick. Big facts. So I started listening to his interviews, looking at his interviews, checking out what he's doing. Then I noticed when he talking certain stuff about the hot boy Magnolia, he not putting me in his loop because he want to impress Hot Bezo, Tonto, Cito, all the, the people over here on this side. He want to impress them. So like I always say, bro, you can hide history, you can't erase it. When you talk about that Magnolia third world uptown, whatever, gangster going to be involved. Me used to run together, we used to be together. So because you're trying to impress them, and you, but you want to let the world know you gangster down. Don't get it twisted. A gangster gonna slay that iron, fight good. Where well, he used to, you know, he lost, but he used to fight.